So much has happened in the past two weeks of Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. If you guys have been subscribed for over two weeks, you know I've been gone for a very long time. And well, that is because I was on a very nice vacation thanks to my parents. I actually was in Maui, which I have not been there in probably 10 years. So yeah, this was an insane trip. But yeah, I am finally back. I'm pretty glad to be back because I have not made a video in such a long time. And oh my god, guys, I miss so much. So to start out, I did miss the Robot vs. Monster event, which was basically like the best event in Fortnite history. And sadly, I missed it because I was on vacation, but that's okay because I watched it thanks to a bunch of people who posted it, and this event was just crazy. So basically what happened is the monster came from the ocean with Polar Peak still on its back, which is pretty funny, and it started to destroy stuff on the map. And that's when the robot marched down from Pressure Plant, and it started firing a bunch of missiles at the monster, destroying Polar Peak off of its back and also damaging it a little bit. And they both fought, hit each other a bunch, and the robot actually hit the monster and they both flew off the map into the water and the robot got out like the event was over. But no, the monster came back and crushed the robot, almost killing him and he got destroyed. But then after that, the robot basically punched the vault in Loot Lake, grabbing this huge orb, giving its arm so much power and it basically just punched the monster so hard in the head it knocked it out and that's when it walked over to Neo Tilted and reached into the little lake in the middle and grabbed a huge sword and the monster came back and the robot stabbed it straight through the head killing it. So the robot did win this huge fight which I was hoping because if not the map would probably be destroyed. So yeah, that event was crazy. I wish I was able to witness it live, but that is okay. Moving on to the next thing, we got two new weapons in the game. The first is the epic and legendary variant of the tactical shotgun, which this thing seems pretty darn powerful. Looks fun, so cannot wait to try it. And the second thing is the Storm Scout sniper rifle. You can see on screen right here, knowledge is power, stay ahead of the competition with this weather tracking sniper rifle. So I don't know much about this weapon, however I have seen a couple of videos where when you like scope in on this weapon it does show this a little map in the bottom left corner of the storm and it shows you so like you don't even have to scope out to see the storm you can just see it right in there which is pretty cool I mean I'm sure it has other features that I don't know about but yeah let me know down in the comments. Alright guys oh my god that was so much information but I think I am finally caught up because I missed two weeks of Fortnite. And yeah, when you miss a, a few weeks of Fortnite, you miss a lot of stuff. So yeah, I think I'm caught up and ready to move on. So now Fortnite Season 10. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. We only have seven days left till Fortnite Season 10. And what's funny, today is actually Fortnite's second birthday, which is just crazy because it felt like Fortnite's first birthday was just a couple days ago. So yeah, happy birthday, Fortnite. So you guys can see on screen right here, I know it is in a different language. Well, like part of it is, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, Donald Mustard, who is actually an employee at Epic Games, who basically hints us to a bunch of stuff like events or new weapons or definitely new seasons. So he said, invest in space. That is right. So it seems to be that Fortnite Season 10 is going to be a space theme. And you can see in the bottom left corner a leaked picture of someone in a Fortnite lobby. You can see they are on the moon. I believe that's on mobile because the graphics don't look too great. But there's an idea of what Season 10 may look like. And what's funny is that the United States Apollo 11 mission to the moon was actually 50 years ago, a couple days ago. So the anniversary of that happened. So Fortnite could be tying that in to Fortnite Season 10. And our final clue to the space theme, if you guys take a look at Neo Tilted, the small little pond or lake or whatever you want to call it is actually in the shape of a rocket, which leads to the space theme for Fortnite Season 10. So yeah guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and remember, hit that like button if you guys are excited for Fortnite Season 10 in only 7 days. So guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Remember. Click the link down below to check out my merch and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I post a bunch there. You do not want to miss that. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later.